this video, I'd like to demonstrate a method for bringing AutoCAD geometry into Inventor. Uh, at the outset, I want to confess I am not the world's best maker of AutoCAD solids. I'm not a solid modeler in AutoCAD, really, by any stretch. So <clears throat> I'm going to keep it light and easy, but in this case, I built a box. I used the box tool <clears throat> and constructed a box. Now, I didn't measure the box and I didn't really control its spacing from the origin. So I'm sort of setting up the scenario where I'm getting a file from the outside. It is what it is. And I just want to bring it into Inventor. So again, that's the file. And I'm going to go ahead and close that one now. And then I'm going to pop over to Inventor. And I'm just going to simply open the file. So this is a method. Uh, I happen to save this conveniently on the desktop. This is a method for bringing in AutoCAD geometry. And as we look for the AutoCAD sample solid drawing that we were just in, before you hit open, you want to click on Options. And in the Options dialog, I want to choose the Import option. So what this does is this allows me to bring in surfaces and solids from AutoCAD. Uh, and it's just complaining it's not in the project path. So a little bit my bad, but I'm not going to worry about that. And <clears throat> it'll go ahead and open up a new drawing. And as it does, though, it'll actually ask me how I want to work with the AutoCAD geometry. So it reads the contents from here, so clearly um, we're good. You can do some things with DXF and apparently Fusion files, but uh, this is AutoCAD, so we're just going to go ahead and hit Next. And then this screen will uh, help you identify what geometry do you wish to grab. You can grab the entire thing. I don't know what that is. I've been getting that lately, too. Uh, it'll give you the ability to choose different layers, or I could select the geometry. So if I do selection, I can actually pick and choose the geometry to grab if there are specific objects, or I could use all. Same thing with the layers. If I had multiple layers to pick from, I could toggle on and off the layers that I want and don't want. So if I turned off the zero layer, all the objects on the zero layer would disappear. So say, for example, I had walls. I could just turn everything off but the walls layer, and then only the wall objects would come in. Now, there is the AnyCAD AutoCAD import as well. This is different than that. So be aware that if you're just looking to do an underlay, you should use the AnyCAD functionality, which we'll show in a different video. But this is for AutoCAD solids, AutoCAD surfaces, etc. So once we've selected the objects, we can hit Next and then we can choose what we want to do with it. So if there is 3D data, we can choose what we want to bring into it. And we can choose what units that we wish to use. So if it's in inches, I'll leave it. And what happens to any of the geometry. So <clears throat> we could choose surfaces, wires, et cetera, et cetera. If it was multiple solids, we could uh, build an assembly from it, You know, things like that. And I'm just going to go ahead and hit finish, and we'll complete the translation. Cool. So what happens is I uh, had a sketch that got created on the XY plane. That's the AutoCAD sketch. And it brought in a composite surface of the AutoCAD model. So what we could do here is if we wanted to create a ske new sketch or edit this, oops, I guess we'd have to either create a new sketch or try to move this on top of the sketch. There we go. And we go to edit the sketch. There's our AutoCAD geometry. And we can simply like project an edge. And then if we had to position a boiler or something like that, we could position our boiler we'll say, or this little coupler at five inches. And then we could simply utilize our normal constraining process and then dimension between the line and the tangent point to make sure that we maintain the necessary spacing. So again, this is how we could import AutoCAD geometry and utilize it however we need to to create additional functions and feature or features and models so 
Hopefully you found that helpful. And if you have any questions or comments, please let me know. Otherwise, have a blessed day.